Before we uh, we get into this video, uh, I just want to let y'all know that I do not know why I'm attending college yet. So if you guys want to know all about that, uh, follow me on my social media. It's going to be uh, on the video, so don't worry about that. But uh, if you guys make it through this whole video, you're a real OG. I rocks with you. Hope you guys enjoy it because this is really informative, and uh, I really hope that you guys benefit from this video. Uh, so, yeah, peace. What's good? All right, everybody. Hold on, hold on. I got to handle something real quick. All right. Uh, first and foremost, uh, welcome. This is something different for me. This is something that I plan to do for a long time, but uh, I didn't know what, where to go with this mainly. But uh, first and foremost, I want to introduce myself to YouTube. My name is Joshua Paul. Uh, people call me JP for short. And today... I'm here because I got a calling from God that is something that is bigger than myself. And I'm planning to make a movement happen. And the movement is called, uh, I am worth fighting for. Uh, basically it's a movement that has a purpose. But before I talk about the purpose, I want to talk to you guys about my story. Uh, I want to first, uh, formally just let you guys know about, uh, everything that happened to make me be motivated to talk about this movement. So uh, I went to a college in uh, Springfield, Ohio. It was a division three school. Uh, it was called Wittenberg University. And uh, I went there for two years. Uh, first and foremost, it was an incredible experience. You know, being in a, in a position to be uh, just basically out of my comfort zone and learn more about life from a different approach really tested myself and gave me an opportunity to learn how to be a man. And uh, I appreciate the, the, it was a great two years. Overall, it was a great two years. Yeah, it was hard at times. I had to figure out ways to go beyond myself to reach where I want to be. But, you know, academically, and it was very tough because it was a top liberal arts school. And, uh, you know, football wise, you know, they were known as a really good competitive program within their respected, you know, conference. And uh, my freshman year, unfortunately, I got hurt, so I didn't play my whole freshman year. Uh, I tore my labrum, and uh, it was uh, it was hard for me to sink in because it was such a tough start for me to move on with my life and everything and moving on from Florida and realizing that uh, I was basically not, not where I wanted to be at in life. And... It was just hard to uh, sink in and swallow, but uh, you know, eventually we were hard work and you know, eventually just bouncing back. Uh, I had an opportunity this year to play in my sophomore year and played the whole year, and uh, you know, I'm very happy that it, you know it worked out the way it worked out. So, uh, by the way, if you guys haven't watched my highlight tape, what are you doing? Like, you know, that's that's some pretty good stuff you're missing out on. So. Uh, if you haven't watched it, I highly suggest you to watch it. It's on my YouTube channel, so you go ahead and do that for me. But uh, all right, uh, back to mainly what I want to talk to you guys about. So my story, it all started in the second semester. And basically, it started in the month of January. In the month of January, I had to face reality in a very tough way. And realizing that uh, I... I, we didn't have the financial opportunity to continue my education at Wimberg. Uh, we were stuck in a financial position, and uh, unfortunately, I had to make a quick decision so I could continue my education somewhere. And uh, shout out to my girlfriend, uh, Haley Rollins, for being such a supporter for me, because uh, without her, I wouldn't accomplish half of the things I accomplished throughout the semester. So. Uh, with that, uh, I had an opportunity to go to Clark State Community College. Uh, it's a community college that's 10 minutes away from Winburg University. And with that, I I get to continue my education. Now, realizing that happened, everything was going well, right? Well, no. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of things happened. Uh, first and foremost, me realizing that I had to leave a place this semester, after this whole semester, I had to leave a place where I grew up my past two years and basically, you know, learn a lot about life. And uh, 
I also had to say goodbye to a football team that I invest a lot of my time in. I had to say goodbye to a whole group of teammates that, you know, I devote a, a lot of my life into. And, uh, you know, that transition alone is pretty tough. And uh, being in that position, it was hard for me. But uh, I'll also say one of the biggest impact uh, that, you know, eventually hurt me uh, was the Parkland shooting. And if you guys don't know, I live three to five minutes from that school, uh, Stoneman Douglas High School. And, you know, I had a lot of people that was affected by the shooting. Their family was affected by the shooting. I also knew the coach that uh, protect those children when they were in the, when they were in position when the gunman was about to shoot them. The coach sacrificed his body so he can protect the kids. Uh, shout out to you, Coach Price. You know, we live your legacy out here every day. You know, rest easy, my man, because uh, you know, you know what you did, the action, what you did, speaks out to a man who you are. So I appreciate you. Uh, overall, we we got back as a community, but unfortunately, realizing this, I was stuck in Ohio and I didn't have an opportunity to reach out and uh, share what I had to share through that Parkland experience. Uh, and I knew I knew people that was part of that shooting, and you know, uh, to this day, it still bothers me because. It's just unfortunate at the that the 17 lives that was lost was due to a person's actions that he couldn't control. Uh, but besides that, uh, I, when I heard about the Parkland shooting news, uh, it affected me tremendously. And uh, just when I thought things couldn't get worse, it did. A week later after the shooting, one of my classmates that I was sitting right next to, right next to, he was a guy that I was starting to get to know. And after that, you know, we got close. And a week later after the shooting, uh, my teacher told us that he was shot. And when I received the news, I, I didn't know how to feel because, you know, he lost his life in such an unfortunate way and so fast. It's like, wow, I just met the kid and now he's gone. And when when I heard the news, I was I was devastated. I was, and uh, hey, shout out to you, man. You know, I mean, yeah, uh, it was. I, I get emotional just thinking about it. But uh, also, uh, you know, that wasn't the only bad news, unfortunately. Also, uh, we got a week later after um, I went to Puerto Rico. Uh, I had an opportunity to experience uh, one of the best experiences of my life spiritually, and it grew me. And a week later, just one week later, I received news from my parents uh, about a family friend who I consider my grandmother. Uh, she, uh, she passed away. And at that point, when I realized that she passed away, it was it was, it was was a tough pill to swallow because uh, she was very dearly to me and uh, she's been in my life for a while. And to hear that she passed away literally a week after I experienced like one of the best experiences of my life I was like God what are you doing why is this happening in my life and you know it, it got so bad that psychology us uh, oh my goodness I'm stuttering my words <laughs> uh it got so bad that I couldn't even focus I couldn't be myself I was so in depressed because all these deaths was don't getting thrown at me left and right and I was just trying to continue and finish my schoolwork and just continue to be the best guy I can be so I can just at least leave Wittenberg with a good note. And uh, throughout that time period, uh, you know, I was trying to uh, transition, start the transitioning process so I can transfer. And it was tough because I had to break the, the news to my coach and he didn't receive it lightly, but uh, you know, we got to move on at the end of the day. We got to go continue what we got to continue. So uh, it was just, it was hard. It was hard overall. But uh, I got to say, one of the things that got me through this experience was Athletes in Action. And Athletes in Action is a Christian organization that you have an opportunity to share your face and uh, fellowship with other students and other leaders throughout the community and throughout that organization. And to this day, uh, they have a special place in my heart, and I really appreciate you guys who uh, 
who's been an active member of Athletes in Action at Winberg. I, I really appreciate you. Uh, and to all the people that spoke in my life through Athletes in Action, I appreciate you uh, as well also. But, uh, you know, just going through the semester with all the depths that I had to experience and all the personal tragedies that I had to face and uh, seeing just just seeing other people go through their stuff live, and, you know, it was really rough. It got so rough to the point that it was affecting the people around me. And when it gets to that level, I mean, <laughs> conflict just starts and it just never stops. And it, to, it got to the point that I needed to make a decision. I needed to figure out ways I can better myself and grow in myself. So what I decided to do was just basically reach out for help and uh, talk to people about how I truly feel. Uh, it got so bad to the point that I had to face depression and I never felt depression in my life before because like, yeah, I mean, I, I go through hard times left and right, but I never received so much, so much effectiveness that made me so bitter. It, it got to the point that I needed to start to talk to somebody. And uh, so I started receiving help uh, through the school guidance counselor at Clark State. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, you helped me get back to where I need to be and to help me make this video. And uh, I spoke to a lot of people that just helped me to continue my life, like my friends at Wittenberg, the people who I associate with myself at Wittenberg. Uh, you know, shout out to you too, uh, because Without your support and without your remarks just trying to help me to get back where I need to be, I wouldn't be making this video today. And with that, it's just, overall, it was a very rough semester, but I'll be lying to you if I said, I don't know how I got to it. I surely don't know, but I mean, if I had an idea, it's a man above. I mean, if there's anybody who I can give the credit to, it's that man above. And just realizing that, I'm here now to talk to you guys through this video is it's because I have a purpose for this and God put it on my heart to let you guys know that you know you're not alone you're not the only person that's going through this struggle I'm going through it as well but the reason why I'm making this video is because I needed the motivation to get back up and to continue what God put in my life you know if God gave you a talent uh, don't waste it honestly just simple do not waste your talent that God gave you because not only a lot of people that want that talent there's a lot of people that's willing to sacrifice an arm and a leg just to be in your position so why waste it why waste it and for me this um this this movement I have a purpose for it and I have a vision for it and my purpose and vision is to reach out to people who's who's been in my position, who who almost gave up on football, who almost gave up on something that could have eventually changed their life. But the reason why they didn't go on with it is because of little things like money issues or like people losing programs in their colleges. That's not fair. You should never let money be uh, dictate what you have for your future. Because at the end of the day, the only man who can dictate it is God, honestly. So that's one of the main reasons I wanted to start uh, hashtag I am worth fighting for. And, you know, this movement is, is a symbolism of purpose. It's a symbolism of truth. It's a symbolism of, you know, when you, when you just put everything you, you know, it's, it's a movement. It's a community. And that's why I'm trying to bring it into. You know, the reason why I made it a hashtag is... So uh, people who can see this video, they can put it on their social medias and see that, you know, you're not alone. You're not the only one who's going through hard times, you know. College is meant to put you in hard times and hard situations because that's going to be something that's so close to you when you get into the real world. And when it, when it comes to the real world, you got to face situations. When you face situations, you can't be down. So with that, I wanted to make this movement called I Am Worth Fighting For. And I'm planning to have a clothing line and uh, that has shirts, jackets, long sleeves, accessories, like you name it. Uh, like, I'm planning to do this. But 
I won't do this if nobody won't contribute. So I'm gonna need your guys' help to support this movement. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is uh, basically receive a, a good amount of proceeds to the point that I can say like, you know what? I can make I can make this like a, a scholarship opportunity in a sense, not cause making an actual scholarship, but I can find people who's been in this position before, but they want to go back to school and they don't have the financial opportunities to do it. So with that, I want to give them financial support so I can make their dreams a reality. Because at the end of the day, like I said before, you should never let money dictate why you why you do your things. You should, you should let your talent dictate that for yourself. And also what I'm planning to do with this movie is make weekly vlogs. And what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm gonna record my workouts I mean, record me working out and putting in work. So that way, not only guys can watch me and uh, testify by my by my movement, but you guys can also be motivated to work on yourself, you know? Because at the end of the day, we're all living in this world for a purpose. And if, if you sit down in this world, you're not doing anything. And the last thing you shouldn't do is not do nothing. You, the world is full of opportunities, so you should definitely do something about it, especially if you have a talent. And I feel like if I can do a movement like this, I can reach out to others that I never thought I could reach out to. You know, in this world, we live in this world to give opportunities to others. And as a Christian, I feel like I should reach out to other people so I could give opportunities to others. So with that being said, uh, thank you guys for listening to my first uh, segment for this. And uh, if you guys support this, man, I want you guys to give a comment and say hashtag I am worth fighting for. And, you know, post this on your social medias. Because if you can make this a movement, I'll be really motivated to make these vlogs as best as possibly I can. And if you really guys like the idea of making me making uh, clothes and accessories, so I can make really make this an actual movement, then let me know. Comment it. My social media should be down below on the screen. And, you know, I'm very excited for this. I'm very passionate for this. And if you guys are really down for me to do this, like, I'm worth putting it as long as you guys show me love. Like, I really need to know. So if you guys like this, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel because I'm really am trying to make these weekly vlogs and impact other people's lives. So thank you. A hey, shout out to YouTube, man. Let's get this started, man. Summer 18. This is about to be something great, man. Peace.